What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Mao's World. Today's video is being brought to you because we struggle to find a baby gate and a pet gate that would work in our house for a long time. The space we're trying to block off is in between the kitchen and the living room. It's 61 inches wide and it initially when we first moved in we were using a six foot long card table, one of the long rectangular ones would work perfectly. You could slide it back and forth when you need be, you could step over it, but most importantly, it was keeping the dogs out when we needed them to be and keeping our child out of the kitchen when she needed to be. So fast forward to this year when, I guess 2019 year, last year, when we remodeled, we put wood floor in the living room and a wood shiplap wall in the living room. However, the white card table had to go, had to give the table back its purpose. We needed a baby gate. And for that large of a space, there aren't very many alternatives out there for a baby gate. They do have the ones that you can attach from wall to wall, the metal ones that meet in the middle with a gate that slide or swings back and forth. That just, one, for the price, for as large as a space we need, did not seem justified, and it just did not go with the theme of our house. So the other alternative to that would have been one of those folding plastic ones or another large plastic one. And... They just didn't, I mean, if it was a screen one, that wasn't going to keep the dogs or a child out. And then if it was the fold up one, you'd have to fold it up to move it out of the way. And it just, again, didn't fit the theme of our house. So between my husband and I, we went down to Home Depot, our favorite, favorite store, of course, and got the materials to make a sliding baby gate. Now on YouTube, there are dozens of great, baby gate videos to reference. I did look at these. However, they just did not fit the criteria of a sliding baby gate. They were the ones for the stairs or the ones that swung open. And for the space right there, we needed a sliding one. So we came up with the concept on our own and it was under $60, which I'm proud to say none of the other baby gates we looked at are that cheap. So I hope this video helps you out. And if it does, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for coming back to Mouse World. Okay, so to start off the baby gate, I went across each of the fence posts and measured them out to 29 inches. We ended up using all six of them to lay across the board. And here I'm just finishing measuring them out. Now we're going to cut them. Cut that little middle piece out, throw that little middle piece away, and then we'll use each side of the board. So after cutting all of the boards in their measured pieces of 29 inches and throwing the little middle piece away, the next clip is going to be us moving on to sanding. So since this was going in our house, we needed to sand these very good. Now I didn't show me sanding every one of the boards, but here you can see some of them were kind of iffy on part the back side or the front side because these are fence boards, but they ended up working perfectly. This is where the boards will be attached. I went ahead and spaced these out five inches each and it ended up being a little bit too big because our dog was able to still sneak through it. But here you can see where we're putting the screws in and attaching the boards together. And the basic layout concept is coming in just a moment. But we just, like I said, screw these in together. And here's just a few more seconds of that. After we got it all screwed down on both sides of the gate, this, there's our doggo, this 
piece of wood that we're showing here is the one that we have to put on the back for like a brace so the dogs could not sneak through. The doggo you just saw, she can't sneak through, but here is what it looked like before we added on the board and added a few modifications. So this is the final product of the baby gate with the few modif- Okay, so the modifications that we added on to the gate to make the last finishing touches work was of course the handle. We did reference that at the beginning of the video of the supplies. This is the breakaway board that we had to put on because the Shih Tzu was sneaking right through this space. It ended up being a little bit larger than the other spaces. And the last- their second to last modification is this trim piece. This trim piece we had left over from when we did the floors. So we just went ahead and added it onto the design because this middle spot was knocking against the brace that we had to put up there and wasn't keeping it from falling over. So we had to add this for support and the little brace over here that I'm referencing, that was also mentioned at the beginning of the video my husband took this out into the shop with the clamps. He bent it and was able to stop it from falling over right here. It is a perfect, it hits perfectly against it and stops it. So this is what our baby gate turned out like. Um, okay, YouTube. So I hope our do-it-yourself baby gate, if you're looking for something that takes up a large space and is a lighting baby gate versus a swinging baby gate, Hopefully this option will work for you and if you need to modify it to fit your space because not everybody has such a big opening like we do, but hopefully this is something you'll consider and if you do like this, if it was helpful, please don't forget to like below. Thanks so much for coming back to Miles World and we'll see you in the next video.